Hey guys, today we're going to do um, garnet hen, fried bami, and uh, some ackee and saltfish. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, so now we're going to um, thaw our two garnet hens and these are about um, a pound and a few ounce size garnet hens. We're going to thaw them and get them ready to be seasoned. And, and also do some clean up work on the inside and on the outside. Okay, so now it's finished, thawed, clean and semi-dry. To start our seasoning process now we're putting on some um, lemon season some lemon pepper season we just need to get enough on it on both sides on the, on the top and on the um, back Please feel free to get in with your hands guys. Clean hands. So please remember to um, wash your hands. Right, so you can get your hands in while you're doing the seasoning process. So there you have it, lemon pepper, guys. We're not going to season these um, garnet hens too heavy. We're just going to lightly season them. Now we're putting some Italian season on also to give it some extra flavor. The next day, we have about um, two cloves of garlic in our oil, guys. Yeah, you're going to want to cover this so that um, the heat can go through the garnet the kind of head to get it cooked while it's frying. Flip it over on each side. It doesn't have to be um, golden for your it, but once it catches some color, then you can start flipping them over on the other side. And, and the total duration for this um, here, guys, is 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and you'll be fully cooked through and through. You don't want to do this on a high flame, you want to do it on a low flame because you have to um, continuously rotate them so that you can get um, all the sides. Thirty minutes later. Hey guys, so this is our prepped seasoning and um, pre-prepped um, salt fish and spinach that we're going to um, do our ackee and salt fish with. Our preheated oil. Just going to put in some garlic to part off everything so saute some garlic and guys you don't have to um add the garlic first you don't have to add anything first you can just 
put everything in all at once if you're comfortable doing that and just get everything sauteed at once but I like to add the garlic first to get um, the flavors out in the oil before I start adding other seasonings. We also have our tomato here, we have um, scallion or green onion and we have a regular white onion and a little piece of thyme just for flavor. Now you don't want to saute your um, over saute your garlic because they'll get um, too dark after a while. You just you want to give it a nice little golden color before adding it, um, the rest of the seasoning. So you just put in everything there to get a nice saute going. Now you don't need to um, saute this for very long. Once you add everything to the um, pan, you just need to saute it for a few moments. Maybe a minute or two. Doesn't have to be long before you add the um, before adding the salt fish. So the last thing we're going to put in the pan is the acne. But we're going to add the salt fish and give it a little stir and then after which we'll add the spinach before adding the acne. A few moments later And of course guys when you're doing ashi and salt fish you know you have to put in your brown pepper or your brown black pepper in it because the black pepper brings out the flavor and everything. It's like an enhancement that um, brings out every single flavor in the pot. So you can't have ashi and salt fish without the you know, brown black pepper. about time now to add our spinach
guys we're about finished and ready to plate so when we come back we're going to have our dish ready there you have it guys thank you so much for watching